Well, the professional game may still be in its relative Hello, infancy in Asia, but its Stadium. presence is something that is being increasingly felt on the international scene as well as in the major leagues in Europe. The battle for supremacy over this region begins right here with the opening game of the Asian Champions League. It is similar in format and in form to many similar competitions on other continents across the world. This, of course, the Saitama Stadium looking so intimidating with the crowd close to the pitch, so much like classic European stadia. Exciting times indeed. All teams together on the starting line, Jim Beglin. Yes, and we'll have a lot of different paths taken from this point, Peter, in, in this competition, but right now, it's true to say that belief and optimism is, is rife amongst all the clubs, and ultimately it may come down to who has the best mix of, of trusted seniority and, and youthful endeavour. And I'm really looking forward to see who's going to emerge strongest. We have already started here. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. Could move up a gear here. Bernard. Now here's the delivery. A heavy challenge. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Out to the left it goes. And he's in a really good position here now. Great challenge, time to perfection. Well, the defence proved infallible there. Speculative strike. And no one is overly concerned about that. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Has a look and has a go. Some good work on the right flank here. And that's a throw in. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Yeah, that works for me, the denial of... Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. And we have the first chance from a dead ball situation. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. No second thought, a straight red card. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, the players are flocking round their fallen colleague, and they look worried. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And a great opportunity to open the scoring here. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. Another chance! It's run loose, who's going to get there? And he's gone looking for safety. That's such a good run. More of that, please. Oh. 
Nice ball and he's in here. Oh, that is a good ball to find him. That's good defending, very good defending. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. He can get that clear. And they're quick to get it back. Belts one. Goes forward. The pass has gone astray. Ball's gone out of play. Played towards the other side. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Here comes the corner. Chance to shoot! Oh, and he's broken the line here. Shapes to shoot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. No, it's not getting there. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Long ball out to the right. There will be one minute at a time. Plenty of room for the shot. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now but still goalless. Some first-half thoughts? Well, we've seen half. at times it can Let's be harder to play against for the second. 10, and that seems to be holding true so far, something I've experienced in the past, and uh, with this surprise, if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. So, off we go once more. No score in the first half, who's ready to go for it now? And he's running through! Well, that is one way to stop him. Just eases him off the ball. Lovely ball and a real chance now. And the counter is on. Well, that's really good play on the right. He's driving forward. He is through here. Big chance. Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. That's such a great run he made there. He got away from two defenders as well. That's wonderful play. It's their second corner of the game. Oh, sweet feet. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And he is going into that little black book. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, this looks promising in terms... Bernard! Lacking in accuracy.
And it's Bernard. They're back in possession and ready to go again. And that is as far as they're going to go. And that's been won straight back. It's a good run down the right. Crosses it in. He sees it all the way. The attendance for this match was 60,000. game, nil nil. Possession football, Jim. We're seeing plenty of it. What is it though that really makes it work? Well, for me, what makes it work is the fact that everyone in this team has the courage to show for the ball. You can't shy away from it. You can't hide. You have to front up in a setup like this, and everyone is doing just that. You make it sound so simple. Hit into the middle. And that has been clubbed away. And they're back on the ball again. And that has left him in a heap. He'll try from distance. Oh, that's a key interception. He's got away. Oh, no. No circumventing this opponent. Fires from distance. Gave it a go, but off target. Look, they seem set on a tactic that's not really yielding any results. You'd imagine they're targeting a weakness, but they look a weakness themselves. Pass just lacking in accuracy. Speculative strike. Has a look and has a go. Well, oh, that is rather wayward. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. It's an inviting looking ball, that. And he's straight offside. Gets a good foot in there. Gets away from his opponent. And a header! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. When you're struggling for numbers, you try to create that defensive compactness and conserve energy, but fatigue begins to play a much bigger role, and it may well yet make all the difference here. Bernard. Oh, not quite. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Belts one, and the goalkeeper watches it past. Bernard. Oh, that is a nice touch. He's left his man. Great hit! Oh, it's in! And that's got to be it! That has got to be it!
Yeah, the touch before the finish is so often the critical part, and we've just seen an example. Goal! After 90 minutes is number 28. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Two minutes to be added on. Driving forward. And that's that. Well, it's not the ideal results, but it will not spoil the party. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, not a great result, but I suspect that this is one of these games you're just glad to be done with. Was there a few nerves with what's at stake? Possibly, and but most importantly, they got today. through it, and I think that's all that matters for the moment.